the next level of login authentication using the database last time we have seen you by hard coding the username and password we are able to log in now i am going to add the dependency of mysql i am going to use the mysql database After adding the MySQL dependency, I'm going to create a class which gives the connection. I will call it as DB connection. For time being, let me stop this server. then now we can see the mysql class driver class you can use this mysql driver class here dot driver now here let's create a mysql database
let me create a table create table user underscore login username worker Web at hundred Let's see select star from user login. Now we can say insert into user underscore login. user underscore name comma user underscore pass values I mean I will give here admin Then I will give some test test. Now if you do select star from it has to show the two users. Okay. Let's go to our program. So then we will configure the username password we have given root root. Now here Our uh, connection object is ready. Now let's go to servlet part. After getting the username and password here, we will validate with the database connection. So now we will take connection object connection. One is equal to db connection dot get connection. After that, we can create the statement st is equal to con dot create statement. And then we use the result set. st dot execute query select star from user underscore login where user underscore name equals to and Username. Let's see here. Now 
now this block we have to add in tracker just give a exception Let's remove these lines. These are the user ID and password from the database. Let's run the application once again. Here now if we enter the username and password we should be able to log in by using the database authentication. If we enter some other than the database authentication parameters and it should not allow. Let me enter the correct values admin admin. Null mm, pointer exception. Server zone It's saying server time zone just copy this server time zone and You can specify it as a UTC Let me try once again. Yes, now we are able to get the username and password from the DB. After this, what we 
if we give the some wrong user id and password admin is a user i will give the wrong password it is redirecting back to index.jsp and we have created one more user called test test yeah here it is also validated if we enter something it has to return back to index so now we are able to login through the database